This thing is absolutely huge. Now this is the Chinese first anniversary collection box. And we're gonna crack this open and take a look at the goodies inside. I love the look of this box ever since it got announced. So let's crack this open and take a closer look at the goodies. So because this thing is so big, I'm gonna to have to open it on the bed and then I'll, we can take a look at a closer look at the contents. But here is a, another look at the box without the wrapper. And the first thing you are greeted with when you take the lid off the box is the Friends in Alola and Friends in Galar promos. Now let's take a closer look at them in a bit later, but let's go through the rest of the box. You get lots of Chinese packs, which will be fun to open because these, are, these have a lot of cards in. They're a lot thicker than normal uh, packs that you get in English. Oh, and all the dice and everything have already come everywhere. I've just put everything back into place because the dice had gone absolutely everywhere, but you get a lovely little double card holder and a frame for your two promos, which we will take a closer look at later. So there is the, I think it's just magnetic actually, so that's really cool to look at. I can't wait to see both the promos in there. I am probably gonna send both of the promos off to get graded. Uh, you have a little storage bag for all of your dice and status counters, I think. Let me just get these out. So yeah, there we go. There are your status counters. These are a bit small, I actually thought these would be bigger. You also have a cool Pokemon dice. And then all your um, damage counters as well. But you also, oh, this is heavy. You also get this really, really lovely wooden deck box. Now I'm back at the desk, let's take a closer look at all of the items. Uh, here is the little storage bag, first of all. It has all of the Alolan and Galar starters on with the one year anniversary symbol. This is just a nice bag to collect and uh, this is just a nice bag to store all of your um, contents in and for the big deck box to go in. Now, I think the deck box actually might be one of my favorite items they have made. Now the deck box is a bit bigger, a bit too big to film properly on my set up but it has the lovely one year anniversary symbol it's obviously meant to be like a square pokeball it's really really nice and the fact that you can store all of your damage counters status counters and dice all like this with your deck in the middle that's a really really nice fit and i think it's just designed super well and is really really high quality so i guess i need to build a deck and take this to competitions with me but it is quite heavy it's all solid wood yeah and it's it's very very heavy and chunky actually and it's quite a size. I mean, look look how big it is compared to what my, my, my ATB wall was a background there. It's quite big. Here is the main reason I wanted this box though, because of the Friends in Galar and Friends in Alola. Now, it comes with this card sand, which I think is actually really, really nice. Like it's really high quality. It's just a magnetic case holder. Both the cards come in perfect, flicks, um, perfect fit sleeves and they are just really, really nice cards. The Friends in Alola especially, the firework texture is insane, and I can see why the Japanese version commands such a high price. Both of the card backs look very, very good as well, and the fact they came in perfect fit sleeves to help that helps protect the cards a bit more. But yeah, overall, I think that card stand looks very, very good. Where do I put this now? Do I leave this in just in the background of the video now? But, not only that, we get a stack of packs and these are really, really thick. I think it's something like 18 cards in a pack and we get a lot of them. Uh, now the packs cover both the Sword and Shield era and the Sun and Moon era in the same go, I think, because they're trying to catch up really quickly. So they give these massive, massively thick packs and massively thick sets. I think it says that says 25 cards. I'm not, I can't read Chinese at all. But yeah, they, I'm very excited to crack these open. And I wonder, look how many cards you get in here. I don't know if there's a pack trick at all. I don't know, but just look at how many cards you get in one pack. Uh, let's just go through it though. So we have Frogadier, Alolan Vulpix, Wishy Washy, <laughs> a cute little Poliwag, Riolu, Clefairy, Curlia, Wismere, Snubble, Stuffle, Picky Peck, Loudred, Sudowoodo, Ribombi, Flor Florges, I think. Uh, not Cranidos, Rampodos. Yeah, Cranidos. Rampodos is the evolution. Ultra Ball. I can't remember half of the Pokemon trainers' names, so that's Ace Roller. 
Okay, we've got an Atari GX, Tapu Fini Hollow, Garchomp Hollow, a little Alolan Vulpix Reverse, some sort of energy reverse or trainer card reverse, but that's not too bad. So it seems that you get, what, two reverse energies, two hollows, and then an ultra rare in each pack. Maybe even more. We'll have to wait and see what the other ones have, but that's not too bad. They're, they're absolutely massive. How many cards is that? 25 cards in a pack. That's nuts. Another thing as well with the Chinese uh, Pokemon TCG, as you can see in the bottom corner here, there is a little Pokemon stamp. That's just to stop uh, fakes being so prominently made. Uh, this pack has a Rayquaza on. What pack was that? Was that Roaring, Roaring Skies? No, it wasn't. I can't. I'm so bad because I only got into. Uh, I don't actually know what pack uh, set is in this. Uh, because I only started collecting in Sword and Shield era, I'll be a bit more confident on the Sword and Shield era packs than the Sun and Moon era packs. But I have to say, these are really thick, and I really do like these. It's, if we could get something similar in English, that'd be great. A Bayleaf, Fomantis, Dynio, Flaffy, our cute little Pikachu, some sort of claw, cast form, Fearow Bird Gang. I think that's Palpad, Shedinja, Grovile, Lipard, Steeny, uh, yeah, that, a Stretcher, some bloke, Copycat, Meganium. Okay, so that, that slot's different. Last time that I had the GX card in. Okay, so it looks like all the hollows have potential to be a GX card because now we've got an Umbreon GX in the second slot. Hydreigon, Reverse Hollow Grovile, and Reverse Hollow Alolan Raticate. Yep. That was a Trico, not a Grovile. Well done, Scott. But an Umbreon now. I'll take an Umbreon. Okay, the next three packs seem to be Team Up, which I will be very excited to pull a good Team Up card from that. So yeah, the Psyduck and Slowpoke one. Is it Team Up? I'm pretty sure it's Team Up that had these in. But look at the size of these packs. And if you get a guaranteed Ultra Rare in each pack, that is really great. Psyduck, who's on the artwork. Grabbin, Goldeen, Alolan Sandshrew, Riolu. Jang Moo, uh, Voltorb, Vibarrel, Young Goose, Alolan Graveler, that's a cute little card. Uh, Nosepass, Stunfisk, Dugong, Alolan Sandslash, Some Person. Oh, I remember these people. I can't, is one of them called Lana? I can't remember. I, I'm so bad. Whale Lord, uh, it's a Crystal in a Stone, Melmetal GX, Kurium, Kyogre, Seeking, and. Komo-o. I'm so bad with names sometimes. Uh, yeah, now this, if this card on the artwork could be in the pack, I would absolutely love that. The Mimikyu and Gengar GX from, what was that? Was that, was that from Tag Team? It's a Tag Team card either way, but if we could get that in one of the packs, oh my God, that would be fantastic. But this has Shroomish, Ghastly, my ghosty boy, a oh, cute little Rowlet, Caterpie, Drowsy, Elglim. Dusclops, Golurk, Rhyhorn, Happini, uh, Roller Skater, I think that is, Drillba, Glammy Out. There's lots of so so artworks. This is from Hidden Fates. This is the R box from Hidden Fates. Uh, Beedrill, Meowstic, Amoongus, Harla and Guzma, Tauros. I don't know that person. Oh, a really nice Giratina artwork. Excadrill. Is that Latias or Latios? I think that's Latios GX. Uh, some sort of stadium reverse. And an Anorith reverse. I have to say, I quite like the reverse hollow pattern, actually. So we seem to be getting a GX card in every pack. Now, we haven't hit any of the double hitters. And we had a GX card in, I think, all three slots now. So there is the potential to get more than one hit in a pack, which I actually really like. We just have awful pack luck, evidently. But this one starts off with Fletchinder, Salandit, Nummel. Why is there all fire types? What's going on here? Rapidash, Vulpix, uh, Meryl, Murkrow Bird Gang, Dragonair, Jigglypuff, Swirlix, P Dove Bird Gang, Dedene, Dodrio, Beware the Bear, Crocodile, uh, some sort of fishing rod, oh, Talonflame Bird Gang, Darumak at the. Darmanitan, there's a lot of fire energies in this. Uh, Noivern, Welder, Florgis. Oh, that's a cool Malamar holo. I like that. 
Whimsicott GX, Dragonair Reverse, and Embor Reverse. There's loads of fire types in that pack. What is going on there? I don't care that I can't read the cards. This is a lot of fun to open. The packs are so chunky. Do you know what this feels like, actually? It feels like when you open the fake packs on holiday because they're just so massive. And you get good stuff in every pack, so that what's not to love. But we have Shinx. Uh, Sobble, this is now Sword and Shield base set I think we've moved into. That last one must have been the final uh, Sun and Moon pack. But yeah, this is Sword and Shield now. Luxio, more Peko. Uh, Chatot, uh, Phalanx, Stuffle, Clobopus, Haunter, uh, Siglyph, uh, Mr. Rhyme, Darmanitan, Team Yell, uh, Runrigus, Old PC, Hyper Potion, Hatterene. Inteleon V. Okay, we've got a shiny Darumaka. Okay, I didn't know that was in this set, but shiny Galarian Darumaka. Uh, reverse Hollow Grubbing and the Reverse Energy has changed. And Poltergeist. That's not bad. So does that count as a double hit pack? And look at the texturing on that baby shiny. That is really, really cool. Look at that texturing. That's so good. That's so much better than what we got in English. And I have just noticed another security feature. I can't get it to show up on camera. But right here, so you have the stamp Pokemon here. But can you see the faint Pokemon right next to my thumb and the Pokeball? It's almost like a hollow stamp. That is, that's really cool. And I've only noticed it on uh, the baby shiny Gap Daramaka. I haven't seen it on... I haven't seen it on any of the V cards. But it is on the baby shinies. So that is another additional feature they could bring to English cards. I, I do love that. That's really good. We only have three packs left to go through. But this has been a very fun opening. We've not got anything too, too huge from the packs. Which is kind of disappointing. But it's just a lot of fun to open these massive chunky packs. Because especially for someone who hasn't collected Sun and Moon cards. It's very nice to just go through all the cards. And even to see the Sword and Shield era cards again, it's very cool. Uh, the lovely little Wimpod. I might have to send that to Merc because Merc loves that card. Uh, Roton Phone, Imbidim, Magmortar, Scizor, Garboda, Muck, Skylar, Corv Nightbird Gang, Vitality Band, Quick Ball. There's one of the Galarian starters in Rillaboom, Grim Snarl, Copperage V. Okay, we get another baby shiny. We got a thwacky, thwacky baby shiny and a thwacky reverse. That's cool. I like that. That's a dub. And again, the texturing on the baby shiny just looks so much better than what we get in English. Look at that. We didn't get that in English. What? I hope Haldane Fates is similar to this because this is such a high print quality. This is really, really good. Uh, two packs left, so maybe the pack luck isn't with us or maybe it is maybe you get a, a shiny baby pokemon in every sword and shield era pack who knows who knows but we've got two packs left and the last pack does have a shiny charizard on the artwork so i'm just saying it's got to have something good in surely uh aracuda toxapec simi seer or simi poor whatever one it is one of them stupid dragon uh one of them silly monkeys uh zeb striker go lurk cottony gotharita shuppet Puccina, uh, not Greedent, Squavet, Chatot Burgang, Scraggy, is it Scraggy? Some sort of fossil, Goffertail, or Goffer, whatever Goff Pokemon that is. This is Simipore. Uh, Aracuda, Girafferig, Garboda, Rocky Helmet, Rotom Phone, oh, a lovely little Zapdos, Gal uh, Galarian Darmanitan V. God, every time Anatan V Max, Zashi, an amazing rare, and Scraggy or Scrafty Reverse. Okay, that's the best pack we've had. Okay, now we get to have a look at the amazing rares in Chinese. And look at that! Look at the texturing on that. That's so much better. They've done a really good job with the card quality, I must say. This has been amazing to open. And I'm just saying, the final pack has. A shiny Charizard VMAX on the artwork. So you know what that means. You know what that means, right? Has to be in the pack. Has to be in the pack. Yeah. 
The packs are very similar to Japanese quality and actual. Oh, we do get something in the back. I did just see a, a VMAX, I think it was. So, potentially, we might have a good pack on our hands. But we have Skiddo, Ninkada, Paris, Delmese, Slugma, Fanfi, Hitmontop, Panseer, or Pan something, whatever, the Fire Monkey, Ferroseed, or oh, Staravia, Bird Gang, Metang, Ducklet Bird Gang, Flygon, Hippodon, Charmeleon, come on, give me that Charizard, uh, Shedinja, Delcatty, Swanna Bird Gang, uh, Cave of Toughness, I think that's called, uh, Churchester Bath, Decidueye, Zygarde, there's the VMAX, the Salamence VMAX I saw, Execute, and the final card, oh, Fire Monkey, where's my Charizard? I'm joking, that's alright, I'm happy with that. So, we got a lot of pulls. Look at that stack of pulls we got from these packs. Now, I know oh, there's a lot of packs in here, but we've done pretty well. We've got some good GX cards from Sun and Moon era, even the Entei one from Shining Legends in English, and then we've got a couple of V cards in English, and we have two V Maxes as well, which I can't complain about. But the biggest surprise is actually the Baby Shinies. We've got two Baby Shinies in Duramaka and Thwacky, and we have an amazing rare Zacian. Yeah, I, I do like these three cards. It would have been nice to get a full art or a character rare or something that they've done in like, one of the bigger hits. But once again, my pack luck shining through and not being the greatest as always. And then look at the absolute wad of just reverse hollows and just hollows that we got in these packs. I mean, there's so much there. But the main reason was obviously I got it for these two promos. They are absolutely stunning. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a longish video for me to record. It's actually taken half an hour to record this whole opening. But if you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more Pokemon content. I've been Pigeon. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.